Uh, the carotid stent procedure is a percutaneous procedure, which means it's done through um, a femoral artery access. Uh, we put a small catheter inside the femoral artery, much like an IV. Through that catheter or tube, we place another catheter up to the carotid artery, and that catheter resides there during the course of the procedure. That serves as our launch pad for our tools. We put first a small wire, almost the, the thickness of a hair really, with a filter attached to the end of it, which is collapsed like an umbrella. That small, very narrow uh, device is placed up through the blockage and above the blockage, between the blockage and the brain. And that allows us to, it's then deployed like an umbrella, it's opened up, and there are small pores inside which allow us to, uh, blood to flow through and to capture any material that might be get let loose by our procedure. And that allows us to protect the brain during the procedure so that we can actually uh, have some relative safety for the procedure. Now, uh, many patients ask, well, that's kind of a special consideration. And what I tell them is that the surgeon, when they're operating on the artery, does the same thing with a clamp. They place a small clamp on the artery to protect the brain while they're doing the operation. So the two have very much parallel uh, ideas, which is to protect the brain during the procedure to clear the blockage. At the time, at, once the, the uh, filter's been deployed, we then put a small balloon inside the blockage to make a small pilot hole. And then we retract the balloon and put a stent inside. And the stent is a collapsed spring-like uh, cage, which goes in in a collapsed fashion and then is deployed and springs open and allows the artery to then uh, widen. And then we might put another balloon inside just to kind of prop the stent open. Then the filter is recaptured and the procedure is done. It takes about 20 minutes. The patient's awake. Uh, there's very little sedation. There's al almost no pain except for some Novocaine at the site of the initial catheter at the leg. Um, and that's really the whole procedure in a nutshell. It's relatively straightforward.